Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we are flying back from JFK to Heathrow on British Airways Boeing 777 in their World Traveller class which is British Airways Economy class. So let's go check it out, let's see what it's like and let's see how it compares to their Airbus A380 which we previously did earlier in the year. All right. Let's get into it. So if you're a follower of the channel, you might know that uh, this is the end of my trip to Joy-Con New York and us coming home. There's a couple of other videos from this trip, some hotel reviews and other things like that. So do make sure to go check those out if that sort of thing interests you. Uh, but in general, boarding was pretty smooth. It was very smooth getting through the airport. No real issues there at all. Uh, I had some free time, so we did grab something yep. to eat, just relax for a bit, and then waited at the gate. But before too long, it was time to board, which is always nice. So today we are, like I say, flying in economy class right at the back of the plane. It does mean we get a good view throughout the plane as we walk through. BA staff, as always, very gracious, great team with people on this flight. I must admit, you know, always enjoy BA for sure. We'll say that the 777 does have the newer business class, which is definitely better than the business class on the A380, that's for sure. You get an actual kind of full enclosed seat with privacy area. It's just generally a much nicer product that's than good. what's on the A380, that's for sure. Thank you. Uh, so it was nice to kind of take a walk through here and see what I'd be missing. <laughs> because it's unfortunately not where we are staying this time. But it is a very nice seat, I will say. Definitely a better business product than on the A380. It did also have two business cabins, really. I guess they were separated. Definitely a heavily used business route, of course. Very small premium economy section. These seats looked quite comfortable. Um, I would say they're definitely obviously a newer seat than on the A380, but quite comparable, I would say. And then we finally made it back to the economy section. It is a 343 configuration for most of economy, which makes it quite tight. It's definitely not my favorite configuration. Uh, I'd prefer a 242 or something like that. However, right at the back of the plane, where the plane narrows, you actually do get a 242 configuration. And that's where we're sitting. It does mean that as you're a couple, you get a bit more kind of privacy and you get that extra leg room as the aisle is a bit wider as well. Editor Zachary here from the future. Woo! Just wanted to stop in to say that 99.7% of you are not subscribed. So if you are watching this video and enjoying it, please do hit that subscribe button. We're still a very small channel and every subscription counts. I would love for you to hang around and see more videos. Thank you very much. Back to the video. So once we're seated, as you could see, it's not a massive economy cabin, which is quite nice. It definitely feels like a smaller plane than it really is, just because there was so much business class. It's, it's an interesting configuration. Of course, the most important thing, let's take a look at the seat. It is unfortunately at evening, so my camera's struggling, but you do get a USB-A and USB-C charging port. You also obviously have a headphone jack. Uh, don't have Bluetooth yet on these planes. Uh, version on their A350s do, which is quite interesting. Uh, you know, decent pr economy leg room, and as always, being the larger guy that I am, the table doesn't really fit. The dual fold does mean that at least half of the table fits properly, so that's at least good instead of a fixed size. And then the actual entertainment system itself uh, is pretty standard now across most of BA's offering. Uh, they had a decent selection. I will say that I don't know if it was just my particular screen, but it was very slow. It was really struggling to load in. And I did notice that other people were having similar issues kind of bashing at buttons to try and get it to do stuff, which in turn meant that they were bashing into the back of the seat of the person in front of them and irritating people. So I do just feel like this is one of those areas that really should be improved. I feel like maybe corners have been cut here to keep it as cheap as possible, when in reality, 
it really impacts the experience when you're trying to use these screens. And if you don't have the kind of patience to wait for them to load, it can get very frustrating. But a good selection of content. They've got a lot of the Paramount Plus content now, uh, as well as lots of different kind of bundles. I do feel like they have these kind of categories and sections, but really there should be a better way of sorting uh, kind of all the content so you can see everything and then filtering it in different ways. It, it just is a bit clunky. It was really quite a problem. It did have a decent range of kind of podcasts and other audio as well, which is kind of nice if you just want to be able to listen to something and try and get some sleep. And quite a good selection of games as well, actually, with some games that you can play with other people on the plane, which is quite fun. I definitely played a few things with my wife throughout the flight. In terms of above us, no uh, independent kind of controllable air, which is always a shame. I much prefer having my own kind of controlled air, but you do get a reading light, and that's about it. So boarding went quite smoothly. We did board quite early, um, as I do have group two boarding. The rest of the boarding process was pretty smooth and it didn't take too long. We pushed back on time, really, and everything was going quite smoothly, which was nice. Unfortunately, we were queued on the ground for a, a solid 30 minutes or so. So it was a little frustrating uh, that we'd managed to kind of push back on time, but then still somehow got stuck in a queue. But such is life. It's very rare for you to be able to, be able to actually push back and take off at a scheduled time. You kind of just have to join the queue and get on with it. And unfortunately as well, because it was so dark by this point, uh, we didn't really get a very any good footage of actual takeoff as soon as we left the kind of lit up area of the airport. So uh, unfortunately there is no takeoff video. Normally I will do takeoff and landing videos for these flights, separate videos. And there's many of them available on the channel so do go check those out but there is no takeoff video for this flight so once we were up in the air didn't take too long and dinner service started it seemed all right uh, a very nice chocolate mousse ganache thing some water cheese and crackers and the main meal was a pasta with some mushroom and tomato sauce it didn't look very nice but actually i thought it tasted quite good i think Overall, BA does a good job with their meals, uh, in, even in economy. So, before I get some sleep, this is a night flight, I thought it would be good to have a quick loo review. Nothing particularly special, this is the loo at the back of the plane. Clean enough, I mean there's definitely some staining going on, but you get there's some air freshener. I don't know what happened to the toilet roll, I think someone maybe uh, had, a, had a cat or something in here and scrapped at it, not sure. but. Pretty clean and tidy. You know, nice sized mirror to give the illusion of more space. It's quite tight, but definitely not the smallest of toilets on planes. Thankfully, I did manage to actually get a decent amount of sleep. I would say maybe even three or four hours. Coming in uh, towards the UK, I did start to feel quite rough. Again, if you followed the videos from this trip, I was unwell with migraines at the beginning of the week and generally kind of ruined a lot of the trip. But it was definitely coming back and I was feeling quite rough when breakfast service started. The option was a kind of egg and sausage muffin and I just couldn't stomach that. So unfortunately I didn't get it even to show you guys, but no, it was a bit, it was a bit much. Did get some nice views of course coming in to London and a brilliant landing as well. The full video of which is available on the channel. So go, go check that out. It's a nice time to come in early in the morning, quite clear skies. It was good, but I was very keen to get back on the ground, get to my car and get home. Still, it was a pretty good flight. Definitely no fault to BA. It was just me feeling a bit unwell. But other than that, comfortable enough. Certainly recommend going for those rear two seats if you're a couple or even if you're on your own and you only want to be sat next to one other person. If you can do that, and you're in economy, definitely go for it because it really makes a big difference. Still, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review of uh, economy class in the uh, Boeing 777. If you, this sort of thing is your kind of cup of tea, 
do go check out the rest of my videos. We have lots of different cabin reviews for different classes on different planes. Uh, and also lots of other travel content as well, as well as some tech content and all sorts of bits and pieces. So please do go check it out. Make sure to subscribe. Like I said earlier, still a very small channel, so every subscription counts. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.